So as you can tell, the way that we're dressed, we're filming a Christmas video. <laughs> a little oh, early. Yeah, yeah. It's a little early. October. <coughs> Ooh, what's going on with my voice? I don't know. We're both a little Ooh. congested. It's early in the morning. I've only had one cup of coffee. I'm tired, but this is a very exciting video. We have for you today all of the Christmas holiday, winter, Bath and Body Works candles. Okay. All of them? Most of you them. You ordered all of them? Mo yeah, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I understand it's early, but they're all online. And I was gonna have this video go up in December, but then Ashley made the point, well then like, they're already gone and like there's no point since they've been on the website since like September. I don't know, it's a big mess. But I also have a new revelation something new this year for some reason i am way more excited about these winter candles than it was the fall ones the what? fall ones kind of disappointed me this year i think there was like nothing there wasn't new. anything new the christmas one they didn't have the pumpkin pie one my like yeah. all-time favorite there the scent there's some new scents but then also the packaging on all of these is completely different of the of the winter, winter yeah. yeah so that's exciting yeah so yeah just looking at like all these candles are so cute and i have four hand soaps that are also cute which i have not smelled those so i'm not sure what they smell like but the packaging is cute so are you excited yeah let's do it okay so first up we're going to do what they're calling the camp winter collection it says camp winter on all of them i love this packaging it's it's so cute so cute okay so let's start with that's a good one so we'll wait on that one start with the classic winter i mean look at the little bear and the trees oh so cute so this oh one it's oh, i know look at these little like trees and star lids love it so winter it's a scent they've always had. Classic, it says it's made with orange and fir needle, essential oils, and notes of clove. Also would have noticed, so you know how, I don't know if you guys like know a lot about Bath and Body Works and like follow them, but they have this whole new like essential oils, new like aromatherapy line, and they've been putting like legit essential oils in everything. So all of these candles now have like essential oils in them, which they didn't have before. So it's changed the scents a little bit, but I think for the better. Mm -hmm. So yeah, orange fur, fur needle, fur, <laughs> fur needle, have IR, <laughs> and clove. Oh, so good. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. it smells like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good one. I like it. And this is so cute. This is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Hot cocoa and cream. We never talked about this in the fall one. Yeah, we haven't. We just haven't lit it yet. Um, it doesn't look like this though. No. It's a different packaging. It, it just smells like the best cup of hot chocolate that you could ever have with like creamy marshmallows and whipped cream. And in, case you, in case you missed our um, fall candle haul video where we talked about this the first mm -hmm. time um this is made with notes of milk chocolate steamed milk and nutmeg essential oil oh it's so i mean good. It, it really is. just smells so delicious if you love chocolate mm -hmm. you'll love this and i like it because it's not super sweet no. smelling but it's, it's really so subtle. creamy chocolate creamy chocolate with like a little spice from the nutmeg it's just so good Oh, and all of the ones in this collection have like the frosted glass, which I like. This one is Spiced Apple Toddy, which I actually think last year I mentioned in one of the videos somewhere that like I didn't actually buy it. I think I smelled it in store, but I didn't pick it up in store. And I was like, I'm just going to order it online. And it wasn't online, like I couldn't find it. So I'm excited that it was online this year. It's got a little deer on it. So this one is um, cinnamon and clove essential oils and notes of apple brandy. Mmm. It's a good one. It's good. Ooh, that does smell, that mm -hmm. smells, uh, you know what that smells like? What? Leaves. A little bit. It does actually, yeah. You're so right. Weird. But yeah, that, that's a good one. I'm excited we have this one this year. I just, oh, all of these winter scents. I'm like, I think my issue is is that usually by this point in October, especially in New York, like we're, we have fall weather, like it is full on fall. Right now it's like 
still in the 70s and like it was 80 degrees like a couple days ago usually by this point we have fall weather and we do not so I'm like I think I'm like not excited about fall because we're not having fall yet so now I'm just like in Christmas mode yeah, I started fall listening to Christmas music like, I know but don't skip fall I know no, but we haven't it. had it yet and well, I know but it'll come <sighs> yeah but and what I'm also mad about is like we're we haven't told you guys everything that we're doing but in November we're like not going to be in New York at all. I think like nine days total we're going to be in New York out of November. So I'm sad that like we're going to miss all the fall because we're not going to be here. So, okay. Fall rant over. Next candle. <laughs> Frosted Cranberry. I love the packaging. This one's a little sweet. So this is made with notes of iced cranberries and orange essential oil. And it has a little like truck with the Christmas tree on top. Classic. I do love a good cranberry scented candle. Interesting. I don't like I did not know that about you because you don't like anything cranberry related. I think it's the texture. Uh, Cause I have a texture thing with food. <laughs> but I love the smell of them. All right, so next up is flannel, which Ashley doesn't like, but I did smell this when I took it out of the package. I think it's a little, it's not, not different, but it's a little more subtle. I've had the flannel one lit in my room and you haven't said anything. Yeah, but you know I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it's it. Got but a little the bear, the bear and I nap. <laughs> but this one is orange peel and patchouli essential oils in soft musk. I think it smells so good. It's like it's winter just, cabin with a dash of mint cologne, and it's the mint cologne part that I like whiffs of that smell, but I don't like that yeah, constant. Yeah, a, a man in a winter cabin with snow falling is like the perfect scenario. Yeah, <laughs> but not the odor constantly. Oh, I would love it. Yeah. It just, it, it gives me a migraine. That's really, it's not that I detest the smell, it just gives me a migraine. I love it. This one is fresh balsam. Cute little trees. I like this green color. I like this one a lot. It's so good. It's really similar to the winter yeah. one. I think I like winter better. Um, so this is made with pine, cedar wood, and eucalyptus essential oil. So that's what I was gonna say, it's, it's got a slight minty quality to it without the eucalyptus. Yeah. What is the winter one again? I'm just curious. Um, Cause they do smell similar. It was fir. Orange, fir, needle, and clove. Yeah, this is pine, cedar wood, and eucalyptus. So same kind of like woodsy yeah. scents, just a little different. Yeah. It's good, I like it. This is maybe one of my faves for winter. Really? Just because it, like you smell this and you automatically think yeah. Christmas tree yeah. and like that mm -hmm. kind of um, environment. Yeah. Okay, so I've been stocking Bath & Body Works for like months. Um, and so the, <laughs> so there was a couple new scents added to this Camp Winter collection. So I have one of them here. The other one, for some reason, is not online and I'm mad because so I think it's called Snow Lodge and it is lavender, eucalyptus, and peppermint maybe? Maybe it's not peppermint, it's something. That I was like, oh my god, this is like me and a candle. I'm going to love this. It's not online. I don't know why. You and know there's this thing called a retail store? I know, but there's not one like, there's they're in the city, but it's not like close to us, like it's a trip. And we're never like buy one. Like they're in like random places. So I haven't been, so I don't know if they're like not gonna sell it or what, and I'm upset. But this one makes up for it a little bit, but I'm still on the hunt. So let me know if you've seen that one anywhere. But this one is Campfire Donut. My gosh. Okay. Gone. Powdered sugar, glazed donut, and cedarwood essential oil. I love all of those things. just died so good it's really sweet but like a good sweet it's not like a sickly sweet that's not what I thought it was gonna smell like huh it's so good it smells really I'm a little stuffed up still so this you can just mm -hmm. see my nose but it smells really subtle no to me okay. no <laughs> then, then, 
then um, I just what subtle about, about it do you I just it's not like a super strong smell yeah, like some is. of the other ones that we've just smelled like the flannel and the whatever like I get like a big whiff of I it. mean to me this is a little bit it's kind of subtle akin to the um the apple the one that's over there um on the kitchen counter what's mm -hmm. it called the apple the warm apple pie warm apple pie to me, it reminds me of when I first smelled oh, that, where like my, the first scent, I was like, ooh, I don't know that I like that. And then I kept smelling it, and I was like, oh, maybe I do like it. Um, and it's really subtle, and I'm like that one, like I said in the fall video, I'm interested to see yeah. what this smells like burning, mm -hmm. um, and how that changes the scent. Yeah. Okay, so now we have the, a couple from the like white barn. Did you hand me the ribbons? I'm wearing red, and you took the green, because you're wearing green. No, oh. I actually like the scent better. <laughs> we can switch. No. <laughs> um, this is called Mary Mimosa. I like the sound of that. Ooh, I don't really like the smell of it though. Oh really? Um, it's just florally to me. There's no floral in here, but that's what it smells like. Sparkling champagne, red apple slices, and iced sugar crystals. Mmm. There's just a perfumey note in yeah, there that's going to give me a migraine. That's... It might not. Okay, so this one is Peppermint Rosemary, and I'm so excited about this one. It is Fresh Peppermint, Iced Rosemary, and Eucalyptus. Oh, that's so good. You do get that, like, iced note. It does. It's mm -hmm. like It smells snow. like ice, yeah. Very fresh. Mm -hmm. mm, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's really good. <clears throat> okay, so last we have this little collection that has these just like cute little sayings on them. So this one says, let it snow, baby it's cold outside, and better not pout. So here you go. Let's go, let's do this one. Better not pout is spiced gingerbread. So it's spiced gingerbread, vanilla icing, sparkling cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. You're not gonna like this one. She doesn't like gingerbread. Oh, but it's so good. I it's like it it's here. like baking gingerbread cookies. That's alright. That's really good. I like it a lot. It's it's not overpowering. It's it's nice. So the let it snow, let it snow, let it snow candle mm -hmm. is twisted peppermint. Um, so this is cool peppermint, sugared snow, not regular snow, sugared, sugared snow, snow. Mm -hmm. vanilla buttercream, fresh balsam, and hint of musk. Mm. Mm. I like this one. Yeah, a little good twisted peppermint. It's like that fresh snowy peppermint. Sugared snow. Oh. It like, it's like an undertone. It like hits you and like it yeah. comes up like into your senses. Yeah, it's not super overpowering or overwhelming for being mint. All right, our very last candle, baby it's cold outside, is Fireside. Okay, this is a new one, or I don't know, it hasn't been there for a few years. But this reminds me, I smelled it the other day, reminds me of a candle that Ashley got me from Anthropology last year, like smells exactly like that. So this is smoked cedar, clove buds, and warm rich embers. This is like my favorite, smells. Which surprises me because this is a lot like flannel. And you, but you like that. It is not like flannel it because is. the it is this it element. It doesn't have the man element. Exactly, it's the elements of flannel that I like minus the men's cologne scent. It's so good. I love this one. This might be my favorite. It, it smells like that, um, uh, what's the brand of that perfume I have? Replica, uh, Maison Margiela. Yes, yeah, Replica, the Fireside. Mm -hmm. The Fireside? Fire Fireplace? Fire, fire something. <laughs> <laughs> fire something. Um, I've talked about it in a like, favorites mm -hmm. video, so you can go back and find that um, information. <gasps> it, it smells like that. It's it, candle it smells like smoke, but like good fiery smoke. So yeah. if you don't like that, you won't like this. Yeah. But I like it. These are so cute. Yeah. Okay, so now we have Four hand soaps. They are exfoliating hand soaps with white tea tree oil. Um, I would buy this just for the package. I know, that's honestly what I did because I've never smelled them. I don't know what they smell like. So, okay, I have these two. So I have toasted vanilla chai and snow kissed citrus. So let's see what these smell like. Interesting. Hmm. I don't hate 
hate it, but I don't love it's, it. It's a little sweet. Because it's a whipped vanilla. Toasted vanilla chai. I don't really get a lot of spice, but we might like when we're using it. What's, oh yeah, whipped vanilla spun sugar and winter spice. So that's that one. And then this one is Snow Kiss Citrus. It's winter lemon, frozen verbena, and white cedar. Frozen verbena? That's what it says. It's very like lemony, like. Mm hmm It's not a very winter winter scent. No. It's very citrus, summery. Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. It's just, I don't smell that and think mm -hmm. winter. Yeah. Um, okay, so the two these two I'm excited about. The two I have are sparkling mint blossom and iced blue sage. So the sparkling mint blossom is glacier mint, fresh eucalyptus, and iced lily. That smells good. I got it on my nose. Yeah. <laughs> And then this one is the ice blue sage, blue sage. I didn't even know there was such thing as blue sage. Mm -hmm. White pepper and evergreen musk. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what this is gonna smell like. Oh, I like it. Ooh, that's nice. It smells like something. I can't figure out what it is. I wouldn't say any of these are Super like wintery. No, but the packaging is just packaging so cute. cute. I can't not. And I like how they all smell. All right, so that is all for our candle haul. Hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to start lighting these, although we still have so many ball ones still to light. <laughs> Here, I'll make this deal. We can't decorate for Christmas until we have gone through all of the fall candles. Okay, we better get to lighting. Have we even burned through one in total? Because all the ones that are out right now, I think, are the ones we initially oh placed. Oh <laughs> Maybe I want to go back on that deal. <laughs> oh no. Oopsies. <laughs> we need to light some candles. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give us a big thumbs up for the candles. And you can subscribe to us right here. Make sure you're subscribed. Actually, fun fact. The majority of the people that watch our videos are not subscribed. Isn't interesting. that interesting? Why not? I know, so just subscribe, it's that easy. Then you'll get notifications when we upload a video so you'll never miss something. And finally, you can watch our latest video right here. We'll see you guys next time, bye.